Hi folks, Richard Ash, Folkcraft Instruments. Today's dulcimer demonstration is of a Folkcraft Custom Series Mountain Dulcimer, serial number 8010773. This instrument has a 27 inch vibrating string length, so from nut to bridge, 27 inches, ideal for a person with average to moderate hands. Giant hands, you could probably get away with a little bit longer scale, get a little bit more string vibrating and a little bit more tone quality. And very petite, very delicate hands, this one might be a stretch for you. You might be more comfortable with 25 or 26 inch for a scale length. 27 is definitely our standard. We sell more 27 inch than anything, so this is good for most everybody. Black walnut for the back. Oh, that's a pretty piece, isn't it? Black walnut for the back and for the sides, another pretty piece. Uh, for the head and for the fretboard, this has the Gabon ebony fretboard veneer. You're not going to wear it out with the pick. And this one is set up with a Galax back as well. So we have an outside back, a series of spacers, then an inside back. The outside back, back sits on your legs. The inside back is pretty much unencumbered. When you strum the strings, the back can vibrate. It helps with the sound quality, helps with the, helps with the sustain, especially that sustain in the second octave. So the great choice, the Galax back is an option that I certainly have on all of my dulcimers and I certainly recommend it. I think it's worth every penny. Anyway, black walnut for the back and sides, Gabon ebony. The top is butternut. We use Pennsylvania butternut. Butternut's getting hard to get now. But butternut, it's in the walnut family. It's related to black walnut. But it's a much lighter wood. Not, not just in color, but in density. It's not near as hard, not near as brittle, which means it's a little bit warmer. You get a little bit more clarity, maybe. Walnut and butternut is a great combination for dulcimers. Maybe our number one most popular combination, walnut butternut. So walnut, butternut, ebony, this does have the contemporary scroll head, four tuners on each side, or four tuners on one side, no tuners on the audience side. As the instrument sits in your lap, you have easy access, none of this reaching across and trying to be awkward and messing up your wrist. But I like, I like the convenience. I also like that there's somewhere right here on the side to clip on an electronic tuner and just leave it sitting there the entire time. This one does have our sun, moon, and stars sound holes. And, I don't know if I said this, extra frets, one and a half, eight and a half, plus the traditional six and a half, 13 and a half. This is set up with four tuners, but it, does, it is set up with three strings right now, D, A, D, and we used bass strings on this one. If you listen, D, A, D, same as the standard dulcimer, but down one full octave. Oh man, that's rich. Still ringing too. I'll play you two tunes, Shenandoah and Wildwood Flower. <laughs> 